What's going on guys? So we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this really cool Ibex travel trailer. You know, the off-road themed travel trailer is really in right now, and people absolutely love the look of something that has more aggressive tires, more aggressive stance, and looks like it's something you could really take out off-roading. So we're gonna take a look at this new Ibex. We'll be right back. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this Ibex. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,465 pounds and a cargo capacity of 3,362 pounds. In my opinion, this is something that you could easily tow behind a three quarter ton pickup truck. It's probably something that would look really, really good behind something like a power wagon. Let's take a look at the outside of this specific unit, see what it's all about. So it's got dual propane cans up front. It has two battery boxes and a power tongue jack. It has scissor style stabilization jacks all the way around as well. And it has a power disconnect already installed. I wish every manufacturer would just put a power disconnect on all of their units. I think it just makes sense. Up front, let's take a look in the storage. So you can see that there is a weight distribution hitch that's kind of packed away here. Maybe if somebody buys it, they're gonna give them a weight distribution hitch. I don't know. You have a fresh water connection right there, plus you have your city water connection there as well. This is gonna be the outside of your water heater. It already has a cage on it, which is actually really nice. That's something typically you have to add. Check out these Westlake off-road style tires, which is also kind of cool. Now here's something that is really nice. This has torsion suspension. Wasn't expecting to see that. So I was expecting that this was gonna be kind of that traditional off-road looking RV but with nothing really to substantiate that but this actually has you know really nice torsion suspension and it has a nice protection area here in case for some reason you do have a tire blowout or a tire rubs it you're not going to damage the inside of your travel trailer which is really cool it's going to be the outside of your gas electric refrigerator that's the top ventilation area this is a much more efficient setup if you're going to be running a gas electric refrigerator than having one in a slide black tank flush. You have all of your sewer connections there, the back of your stabilization. Plus this is gonna have a 30 amp connection here, which means it only has one air conditioning unit. You have LED lighting on the back and across the top, and it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Here's your spare tire. Coming around this way. This is really cool. I love to see this. This is basically a storage access point that is going to be the bottom part of a bunkhouse. So this is bunk beds. And when you open this, if it's not locked, it is locked. This is how you can load things in, such as bicycles, things like that, inside of your RV without an issue. That is really cool. I think somebody just bought this unit. Have your 110 power right there. Okay, now that we have it opened up, let's take a look inside of this really cool Ibex 19 MBH, again, with Asdell. Has the Moride step above steps flipped out. Stepping inside. All right, right off the bat, it's a Murphy bed unit. So this is your little sofa area, which folds flat and the Murphy bed folds down over it. I really like these. It's a great utilization of space. If you don't need the bed out, flip it up. A lot of times in RVs, the bedroom, you never really go into unless you're about to go to sleep. So why not have it out of the way? That's really cool. You have your little closet wardrobes on each side, plus tons of power connections everywhere. This unit also has a solar panel on the roof so you can charge the battery and help utilize your refrigerator if you're off grid. Has a little booth style compact dinette area. One thing to keep in mind, this unit has no slides. Because there are no slides, you have to really, really think about how you wanna utilize the space inside of here. So it's a relatively small dinette area, but at the same time, you have a nice area here to move throughout this RV, given the fact that you don't have to contend with slides. Plus, a really nice little kitchen area as well. Huge single basin sink. Thing's enormous, it's probably 18 inches across and another eight inches deep. Has a suburban dual burner cooktop, vent hood, nice cabinets above, has a micro microwave beneath, plus a little bit of storage here. It's gonna be a vacuum system, so this one has the road vac pre-installed. It's a little central vacuuming system, which is really nice. 
This is running the Dometic gas electric refrigerator. That coupled with the small solar panel on top, you should be able to use this off grid for quite some time. You have your water heater, water pump, plus the ability to turn on your tank heating system, your fresh gray and black, which is really nice. That's just another sign that this unit can be taken to some extreme areas. Plus you have dual bunks here, which is really nice and additional storage below the bunk off to the side here, which is also nice. In the bathroom space, quite a bit of room in here. It's a little bit larger tub shower area than you would typically see in a unit this size, but it's very nice. And then you have your medicine cabinet up here and a good sized little vanity area right there. And over here, you have a good amount of pantry space. Very nice. So what I was talking to you guys about earlier is this access right here. So you can move this out of the way. You can open that up and you have a great, great space here to load things up. Let's say you don't have kids or you want to use this as kind of a mini toy hauler for mountain bikes or things like that. You remove all of this. You simply open that up and you have a great place to store your mountain bike. Great place to bring things into the RV without having to carry them actually through the front door up and around. Very nice. Overall, this is a really cool little travel trailer. I love when they take a no slide travel trailer and they can make it really nice inside. When they can give you the type of space you might be looking for without having to compromise and add a slide if it's not needed. Very cool. Murphy bed, all of this, absolutely a great setup. Again, I could see you towing this behind any of the off-road three quarter ton trucks, whether it's a Tremor, whether it's the AT4, you know, I mentioned Power Wagon earlier. My only issue with that is the fact that it has a relatively low payload capacity and that could become an issue. So it's definitely something you'd wanna keep an eye on if that's something you're considering. However, this is just a little bit too big and heavy for most half ton pickup trucks. You could probably find a couple of them with certain packages that would be able to support this. But again, I just wouldn't do it. I would opt for a three quarter ton truck if you're gonna tow something like this. There's a lot of things to like about this unit. They've definitely you know, hit the nail on the head in terms of having a unit that gives you a lot of capability but without needing to uh, you know, add things like slides to it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.